and that's John Jar. Uh, just when I'm gonna show you guys what a lockdown is. We've done it before, but typically from half guard. If I'm here, okay, right, and I can push this foot out right here, this right here, okay, I have his leg in a lot of arm. Okay, it puts a lot of pressure on the knee, okay, but as you see right here, it's difficult for him to get his foot through. Okay, this right here is a lot of It's the inside, so you got a half bar knee shield here, and then you can fish it and lock it right here. Okay. The advantage of this right here is that if he does not know how to unlock this lock down, he's going to have a real big problem. Because he can't pull his foot through, but at the same time, if I begin to crawl underneath him, yeah, I can awkwardly stretch him out, begin to whip him this way, this way. You know, and you can begin to already put a lot of pressure on the knee, and then you can begin to take it out that see how awkward all that is right there. Here, and then you have electric shape, basically, all kinds of stuff right here. All right, so that's a lockdown from the half guard. But you can also do lockdown from turtle, which is which would be right here, where I get a hook right here. And it's the same concept, and I've showed this to you guys before because from here. Okay. I'm able to go into the truck right here. And you see it's the same concept, except now it goes on his back. Okay. So these are just different variations of the lockdown. Because from here, it's all balled up right here. I'm able to get here to begin to take the back. Okay, he's going to touch that foot. Let me just show you guys something that's very fun to do. And I'm going to take it back from s -Bound. I'm going to show you guys what you're using the feet for. Feet belt here. Pull him this way here. Okay. And now I have his back. Okay. This is more so his escape side, but I have a, uh, what do you call it, body lock right here. But let's say I didn't have that and he pushed this leg in the center here and he unhooked this hook, okay? And he starts beginning to kind of crawl out. I have what I've taught you guys as the hip lock right here, okay? But you see, I'm still on his back. But if you notice, if you notice right here, I'm on his back, I can put a hook in, but if you notice here, with this foot here, if I do this right here, I have him in a lockdown right here, all right? And now I'm gonna set up basically a twister from here. So with that bottom foot, if he extends it, you have to make sure everything's just engaged right here so you don't let their foot push your feet in ways that'll maybe pop your feet. So I'm hooking, if he strains his leg, it becomes even tighter here. I can be here, I can even be up here, right here. Sorry about that. You see that one cut, okay? <laughs> So you have a lot there right here. So look, you have the back. You can remove the hook. This is the hip lock. And this right here is a lockdown. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna shove my elbow in his armpit. Right here, okay? Because more often than not, they will hook your arm right here. And from here, I'm able to now Get him in a twister set up here. Here, I'll do it in different angles. Here. And good. Good. Okay. So you have the back. Right here. You have the back. With the hooks. Right hand under. Left hand over. Landing. Right here. I'm gonna kind of sit up and I'm gonna take the hook out, okay? And I'm gonna begin, because the second this comes out, usually that's what happens. And he exposes his back leg right here, okay? This may be a little bit on the higher degree difficulty side, but in all reality, it's really not. Because look, you have the back, 
the second you unhook this, they typically put their foot here so he can go to his knees. But I still have an underhook on his top arm while I'm locking down his leg right here, okay? Even if he starts moving away from me, I still have this control right here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up, shove my armpit right here, and even if he doesn't, I grab it right here, and I'm gonna lift and pull this to my chest. Because from here, look, I can crank his wrist, okay? And I can push it behind and do just a basic kimura. So you have, this is the twister set up here. I'm gonna rock it up, bring it behind my head, reach here, and I wanna go across. He said, I don't wanna pull his neck. I'm gonna be more so here, okay? Here, or here, if he's like really tight and fighting it, here, I'm gonna take this hand, and I'm gonna shove it right under it. Is that essentially like a kimura. and if you can, your hand can slide from the wrist. I mean, from the from his wrist down to his hand, and bend it behind his back. So you got a kimura, slide it right here, and then put that wrist. And you have a kimura. So what you're gonna do is this: you're just gonna take, just sitting here, <clears throat> right hand under, left hand over the seat belt here. And just fall to your right side. Here, okay. Usually, they'll push that hook off here. Okay, yes, right here, okay. So you're gonna cross your feet, so you have a hip lock right here. So he can't really move too much from here. Can you turn your hip? That is hip lock, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I just need to be able to screw down and up for this foot here, and I have the hip lock right here. It's not a figure four, it could be. But it just crossed the left foot over the right, pushing right into the, you know what? And then I'm gonna fish for that leg right there. Okay, so now I have the lockdown on his opposite side. Okay. And from here I'm gonna pull this out and I'm just gonna sit out, sit up. But I still wanna make sure he doesn't roll away, even though it's hard because his leg is caught. So I'll keep my hand here, 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 wherever, or maybe even here. Sit up here, just plant it right here. Okay, because that right there triggers a wreck. I mean, what, what would you normally think that is good to do with the arm? With your left arm. Good. Right here. Go to your chest. Watch your way. Lift it and push it right up. Okay. And that's all you're going to do for now. Because now from here, you have it pretty stretched out. Up so there's higher, lower, higher, lower, lower. All right, one, two, three. We have some new 